Hey everybody, it's Stephen Brook and welcome to Architectural Photography and Composition. I want to talk about an aspect of our work that's almost as important as the photography itself, and that is the sequence of images that you create and give to your client rather than giving them a whole set of photographs and letting them sort them out and try to figure an order out. That's something that you can do for your client that's really valuable. Remember this, that most people will know a project by your photographs. They may not visit it uh, unless it's a, something really popular, a monument or something like that. But if it's a private residence or if it's an office or an office building, chances are people will know that project by your photos alone. And that means for magazine articles, uh, very important architectural comp um, competitions where the sequence of photographs in that competition are, is really important because the jurors are going through maybe 10 or 100 um, projects and the order in which you make that presentation is really very, very important. And also your clients, when they do, um, when they show their work to a prospective client of theirs, the, or, again, the order in which you make that presentation is really important. When you think about a sequence from the very beginning, this, I think, is really helpful in how you prepare your own work because the sequence should follow when you're done the sequence should follow almost like like a solo in music where there's a strong beginning and that's usually the signature shot and if you're not sure what i mean by that there's a video that i have just on signature shots a signature shot then the exposition the various images that you're showing in a particular order and then a really strong image at the end. And for let's for example, in uh, competitions, when viewers or the, the um, jury is looking, usually the very last image is the one that's staying up on the screen. So it has to be a real powerhouse. And generally, not always, generally that's a night shot. So give your clients your final work in, a, in an order that you've created, not in some random sequence. And to make sure that they know what that order is and don't mess with it, make sure that you label your images accordingly. They may have a job name, they may have a file name, but the first number should be the number in that sequence. When you're done with those, make sure you are telling a story of that project. I have found that architects are often surprised when you give them a sequence. It's something they may not have thought about themselves. They're right in the middle of the project. They've gone through, you know, years maybe on a project and they're sometimes too close to it. But when you present your images to them in an order, you're really doing them a favor. It's almost like a little bit of journalism that you're doing. Now, when you, you can plan the sequence ahead of time, and the best, I think, is if you can do a walkthrough through the project and you have your notebook or use your phone and take pictures and have a sense of what you're gonna shoot, what's gonna be first in the order, what's gonna be second and third, and so on. Now, if, you can't do a walkthrough, see if they can't give you a site plan, for example, showing the interior spaces so that you can get a sense of where you enter, where you might turn, how you go through the rooms, how you get back outside. Now, you may not shoot the images in sequence because of how the light is or whatever, but have that sequence in mind, knowing ahead of time what it's going to be. Now, for exteriors, Again, if you can't do a, um, a site visit, you can go to Google Maps and you can see what your job looks like, see whether or not your project is absolutely north, south, east, west, or if it's slightly canted, this will give you an indication of where you need to be at what time. And this is an app I've recommended before and it is invaluable. It's called Sun Surveyor Light, it's free. What it does, first of all, it gives you blue hour, sunrise, golden hour, solar noon, golden hour for evening, 
so you really need it lets you know where where you need to be and when and the other thing that it does is it has a 3d compass and it tells you at what time the sun is going to rise, when it's going to set, at what angle it will come around. This is in July, so obviously the sun is rising north of the east-west line and setting north of the east-west line. But this is really valuable. This is Biltmore Estate in North Carolina that I photographed for, for a book. And they literally said, you have three hours to do this whole job. That's not a lot of time if you want to be as careful as you want to be. So having this ahead of time, having a site plan, I knew where the sun was going to be, what elevations I would need to be at nine o'clock at 10 o'clock so that I was able to kind of move through the job knowing what where I was going to be and when this is really valuable. Now, I need a shout out to somebody, Gail Steves, who was the former editor in chief of Home Magazine. Besides my work with Digest, this is the only other magazine I did a lot of work with. And it was primarily because of Gail Steves and how much I learned from her. Gail Steves was a genius when it came to showing up to a job and knowing exactly the sequence of images that she was going to present in her magazine. She could walk through and know right away, we're doing this, then we're going to do this, then we're going to do this. And it was interesting to watch her. She was very much like a director in a movie. She knew exactly the order in which those photographs w would, would be. And um, again, we didn't shoot them in that order, but she knew ahead of time how that was going to be. And I learned a lot about sequencing from Gail. So a typical sequence I have here for a residential project, I just I want to go through these to show you front elevation with the entrance, the living room, rooms off the living room, a view to the garden, garden views, back elevation, front elevation at night. So here I start at the front elevation. This is kind of my signature shot. Then I go up on off axis to show where the entrance is. Now I've got a twilight shot for the entrance so that I can see all the way through and that sets up the relationship between the living room and the front elevation. Now I step into the living room and what I've done here is here's a big overall view of the living room. There are rooms off to the side and I'm going to get to those. I'm going to the side. Now I'm looking in towards the kitchen. Here's the kitchen. Here's the kitchen turning and looking back to the living room. The living room looking off to the side here now to this little office area. Here's my office looking back to the living room. Here's the bedroom that comes off the living room. Here's the, the um, bathroom and shower area adjacent to the bedroom coming back out to the living room. Here's the extra little bedroom. Now I come in tight and I'm now moving towards the garden. Here's the big overview when you stand from the doors looking out. Here's the view to one side. Here's the view to the other side. Now I'm going to go back over here and show what the house looks like from an angle taking in the pool. Here's a nighttime view now looking all the way back through into the living room. Walking up. And here I'm going to come all the way back out to where I started and a nighttime view of the exterior of the front elevation. Now, again, keep in mind, most people will know the project only through your photos. So the sequence that you deliver is really important. You're like a musician in a way playing playing a score. If you ever heard a elementary school uh, band play Mozart, you know, that's not the best. However, you can take a highly skilled orchestra playing an average piece of music and they'll make it sound great. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll know when more videos come out. And we have lots of them now in all subjects. And if you'd like to um, support the site, jump over to stephenbrookphotography.com and check out my ebook, Architectural Photography and Composition. It's a complete guide to architectural photography, and I'm sure it'll help you with your work. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.